welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. Up next is the Mobius Models Discovery XD1. This is the 1 350th scale version of this kit. Now this is going to be an open box review, so I'll show you all the parts that are included with this kit. It will not be a comparison video with Mobius Models 1 1 44th version of this kit. Now this kit is substantially cheaper than the 1 1 44th version, the larger, bigger, 40 inch long uh, model kit. A lot of folks really couldn't afford, afford that model and this is a little more affordable although it runs in the 50 to 60 dollar range. Um, so it's great that they gave us this and I'm told it's simply a scaled down version of that larger kit. As I turn it over you can see uh, nice advertising on the back. It says it's advertised as uh, 17 inches long. Hidden metal support rod. Green accurate surface detailing. The command sphere. Over 200 detailed parts. And of course the antenna array. Now it's part number 2001-8. So let me uh, open this up and we will give it a closer look. I will be right back. So this is a top opening type of box and the first thing that I noticed is the metal rod that's in here and they, they do advertise the metal, metal rod. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But we have two bags of plastic parts here in a light gray color. We did get the metal rod for the whole spine of the model. And we also received some other metal parts here, uh, metal antenna bars, we call it. And so that's, that's pretty cool. So we'll look at that here in a second. Here's the kit instructions. And nice fold-out style instructions themselves. And they open up like a book, stapled together. And just a close look there, you can see. Moving on, and assembling of the, the engines in the back, and of course the cargo modules themselves, and how the modules go together on the spine. Now the antenna module itself, quite a few steps there, and the final assembly, and a little painting guide it looks like, how things have to be cemented together with a chart showing you what, what goes where, how they're positioned, and much like the larger model it did the same thing in their instructions. And then they talk about the painting scheme here on the back. And some ideas for weathering and making things stand out a little better within your paint job. So it's pretty good. Very nice, very nice set of instructions. So let's look at the parts next. The very large bag of parts contained uh, five sprue trees. Now we received three sprue trees that are all the same here. I'll take the other two away. And these would be the engine components and the cargo containers themselves along with the base. And we also received two sprue trees that are exactly the same and these deal with the uh, tail end of the engine and the spine. So I'll take one of those away. There's no reason to look at them separately. So we'll look at this one first. Close-up view of the tree. Remember there's three of these included with the kit and uh, 
we can see the very fine detail here. It looks very good. Uh, nothing too uh, delicate. And uh, essentially the other side doesn't have any detail at all. We'll get a little closer. There you go. So a little close-up of the cargo modules, the base. Moving over to the right, and then we have a little more close-up detail of the engines themselves. And uh, there you go. Would be nice if uh, they'd given us some clear parts for the engine so we can light it up, but I'm sure it could be done. And just an idea of the detail there. And the other two sprue trees that are identical is this one right here. And this would be the uh, the workhorse of the Discovery, which is the back end and the spine. So we'll get a closer look at this back end. Really there's no detail on the back side except for maybe the antenna dish there a little. But everything is on this side. So we'll get a closer look. Here's what the spine looks like. Move across. And some of the details with the antenna like I was talking about. The back end of the Discovery. Very nice there. And the sides. Okay, we have another bag of parts. I'll pull those out. And here's the other parts that were in the separate bag. And this would be the, the, the front command module area with some of the antennas and such. So, very nice detail here. You can see there's no detail on the inside of the command module. But uh, I'll turn this over. We'll see what's on the back. See if there's any detail on the back. And yes, there's a couple items that do have detail here. So we'll get a closer look at those here in a second. Lots of little parts here. Here's a close-up of some of the parts for the command module and uh, very nice details there. This is scaled down quite a bit from the 1144 scale kit being 1 350th. It makes it nice because a lot of you don't have the room to display the bigger one versus this one being a lot smaller, even though it's 17 inches long. About the same length as the, uh, the old Starship Enterprise kit from back in the day. Go back to the module there. Look at the detail there. This did not come with any pods. So maybe there will be some aftermarket coming out for this to provide that. I'll turn it over. No detail on the inside. But there is some details on the back side here. Dealing with the neck area of the command module. The antenna. And I almost forgot, this is the other part of the command module. Very detailed there. Very nice. And this bag contains the clear parts over on the left and some metal rods. I'll go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look. Okay, here's what's inside that bag. Like I was saying, we have the clear windows for the uh, command module up front. 
we have three metal bars here and they are you can see uh, all three of them are different sizes and we have the metal antenna bars this happens to be photo etch parts so if you open it up here we have a bag with some photo etch and there they are right there this is for the antenna array along with the bars themselves or for the antenna array. Here's the clear parts. For the command module, they look very nice. And lastly, we have that rod for the spine. This is it right here. Very long. And there you have it. This was the open box review of the Discovery XD1 by Mobius Models. 1 3 50th scale from the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick. Kit number 2001-8. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell for all notifications. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.